Please help Garden City Arts thank our generous sponsors. Confront and Cope by Krista Smith. Krista Smith states, this is a collection of paintings, prints, and drawings that visually display personal past experiences that I feel anyone can relate to at one point or another. This body of work, both figurative and environmental, utilizes direct visual representation as well as technical aspects to represent these experiences and feelings. Some have singular figures posing in different states of mind, directly showing emotion to the viewer. Meanwhile, others have observant forms surrounded by an environment that has the contrast of light versus dark or colorful versus monotone in a fantastical world that doesn't quite make sense. The purpose of this body of work is mainly to help myself cope and voice the struggles I've refused to face in the past. However, making the series has also taught me that I am not alone when it comes to meeting these types of adversities, and neither is my viewer. Born in Missouri and raised in Kansas, Krista Smith has always enjoyed creating artwork and visually experimenting with environments, as well as using figures to create stories. Krista started her artistic career at Garden City Community College and received her Bachelor's of Fine Arts at Fort Hayes State University in 2019. Since then, she has taught classes and worked as a gallery guide at the Salina Art Center in Salina, Kansas. Graduating with an emphasis in painting, Krista's primary medium of choice is oil paint, but she also enjoys drawing with charcoal and pastels and thoroughly enjoyed printmaking while in college. Using thread as one of the central motifs in her work, lately she has been experimenting and utilizing actual thread in paintings and drawings, bringing more attention to the use of the material in the image as well as adding multiple textures to her work. Carol Burnham is an award-winning abstract artist and instructor. She currently lives in the small town of Ulysses, Kansas. She paints nearly every day. Her paintings are colorful with a bit of whimsy. You will find textures that make her happy and tell a little bit about the story of the paintings. Carol likes to listen to music, garden, and journal in her Bible. She is wife to Randy Burnham and has four amazing boys and six grandkids. Carol states, I am not afraid of bright colors, scribbling marks, and luscious texture. I paint abstracts mainly in acrylic, along with mixed media. My abstracts give me the freedom to feel as a child again, but also gives me a challenge.
Maddie Christner is a fine art photographer based in the Garden City area. She graduated from Kansas Wesleyan University in 2014 with a Bachelor's of Arts degree. She likes photographing a wide variety of subjects, including people, food, and miscellaneous objects. She particularly enjoys macro photography. Since graduating from college, Christner has participated in several juried photography shows, winning first place prize in 2015. She also works as a staff photographer for the Smoky Hill River Festival in Salina. Over the past years, she has been growing her clientele in the Garden City area and hopes to expand to surrounding counties in the future. Michael K. Knudsen joined the faculty of Garden City Community College in 2015 after serving as art adjunct instructor at Fort Hay State University. He was the son of two art educators and spent his childhood immersed in creativity, drawing inspiration from his experiences in the natural environment of the Black Hills of South Dakota. He earned his Bachelor's of Arts from Black Hills State University in 2010, and in 2013, Michael completed his MFA at Fort Hayes State University. He is an accomplished visual artist and works primarily as a painter. Michael has an active national exhibit record of solo and group shows and has completed many public works of art. The base for Michael's work is a deep connection to the immediate environment, life experiences, and the way the mind interprets this information. He works both in the in-studio and in the landscape, in this manner allowing himself to explore a wide range of physical and emotional experiences. Rachel Sebastian is a photographer originally from the Flint Hills of Kansas. She has lived in Western Kansas for the last decade and over the last few years has developed her photography business. Rachel has an affinity for Western work, being the daughter of Eastern Kansas ranchers and now embraces life out west. Rachel's body of work showcases some of the Kansas men and women in the beef industry who have worked as ranch managers, cowboys, and horse trainers. Rachel states, my work pays homage to some of my favorite cowboy painters, including Joel Phillips, who has been a huge supporter and cheerleader of mine. With this show, I wanted to capture the spirit of the men and women who do some of America's toughest work in the heartland. I would like the public to reflect on the work these people do and the work done top to bottom in Southwest Kansas and beyond to provide a safe and constant supply of beef to this country and the world. Thank you for watching the First Friday Virtual Art Walk presented by Garden City Arts. You can view all of the artwork featured in this video by visiting each location during their normal business hours in the month of April. Most pieces of art are available for purchase through Garden City Arts by calling 620-260-9700.